Hey guys, it's Zach and welcome back to the shop. Uh, today we're actually going to get started on the foundation of the 12 volt system inside the teardrop. Um, it's I call it the foundation because there's still a lot of odds and ends that still need to be done and you'll see me using things like wire nuts uh, just to temporarily hold some of the connectors like for instance the fan is uh, just wire nutted together because I actually have to remove the fan when I put it in the roof and then when I push it when I put it back on after the roof is done I'll be able to actually you know do a more permanent connection so uh, with that being said guys let's get started Hey guys, well, I hope you like the progress so far. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes I actually made was in the, the battery terminals, um, I had the black wire on the negative side and the white wire on the positive side, which to me, thought <laughs> I thought that was pretty, uh, made logical sense, but uh, apparently the distribution panel I chose, um, the it actually wants the, the black wire to be positive, so, um, not a big mistake, I mean I just had to make the switch, um, but unfortunately the two 30 amp fuses that I already had 
in the distribution panel decided to uh, uh, break on me. So I'm gonna have to replace those, but not a big deal, it's a couple bucks. Um, I do actually have plans to add these metal plates in here as well to, to protect the wire so when I put the roof on. The only thing I don't like about these is you have to hammer them in and uh, I rather you know find a way to screw them in so I might uh, have to modify these a little bit to make them work but not a big deal. And then the other thing is these, uh, these connection points, most of these connection points I use these little, the little barrel connectors because well, for, for, for one, a lot of manufacturers use the bell, barrel connectors and it's, it's good enough. Um, and for two, the, the soldering of those was actually kind of a pain. So decided just to use the barrel connector and get done with it and you know, wrap it in some uh, heat shrink or heat wrap or whatever you want to call it. Uh, heat tubing, whatever it is this week, right? Uh, the other cool thing about this is this, this light in here is going to be, will be blue if you hit it once. You know, so it allows uh, somebody to, you know, read a book or something like that without disturbing the person next to them. And if you push and hold, it'll actually turn white. And it's actually a pretty, pretty bright little light there. So, but all in all, folks, that's a that was a a lot of work. <laughs> and uh, this is a tight spot. I actually hit my head quite a bit on the ceiling, which uh, you know made me kind of have to take a walk because it was getting frustrating. But. I hope you guys like the progress so far. Um, if you haven't seen the previous videos, please check out the playlist. And um, if you want to see future videos, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.